हाय गाइस वेलकम टू कोरा डिजन लैब दिस इज वीडियो नंबर 39 फॉर जेंगो ई-कॉमर्स वेबसाइट एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल परफॉर्म द एडिट प्रोफाइल फॉर यूजर ओके सो हियर वी विल क्रिएट द लिंक फॉर एडिट प्रोफाइल एंड वी विल इंप्लीमेंट द थिंग्स सो मेनली वी विल डू दिस टास्क द प्राइमरी इज टू एडिट प्रोफाइल एंड द अदर टास्क आर वी विल रिमूव द फील्ड्स फ्रॉम द साइन अप फॉर्म लाइक we have uh, added in the sign up form mobile number address full name we will remove that okay here you, you, you can see that because django provides us already first name last name we will move the mobile number in the address book and uh, we have already created the address book so that we will remove this address okay so these are the task we are doing in this video so let's start from the first first we will remove the forms uh, remove the fields from the form so here we have a sign up form and i will remove this i will remove all and i will just say first name and uh, we will implement this last name last name and we don't need the mobile number don't need the address and we you, uh, django also comes with the email so you can also add email here okay so when you refresh the page so you have you have error and i will refresh the page restart the server and server has been restarted and i will refresh the page so first name last name email address username and password and all the things okay now we need to create the mobile number field in the address book uh, i'll go to the okay we need okay we will first of all we will log in log in here and then we will go to the dashboard and uh, in the address book we will in the address book we will create the we will show the mobile number and we also need to one thing more we need to mention one task more we need to we need to edit the edit address book edit edit address in a address book so that we can edit the address okay okay <clears throat> and uh, if uh, we are adding the address and make the status true then we will uh, make all other we will deactivate all other address if uh, any status is activated then we will make deactivated okay uh, i mean to say that uh, we are doing this thing uh, we are doing this thing in the uh, here and the same thing we will do in the uh, when we creating the address okay i hope you understanding what i mean so Uh, i have done the one task that i have removed the fields from the sign up form now let's go to the edit profile thing so for the edit profile what i will do i will go to the forms.php forms.py file and i'll copy this thing and i'll paste it here and i'll say profile edit okay and this will be profile edit or you can say profile form simply okay and we will extend the what we will extend here we uh, auth provides us a user creation user change form okay so with the help of user change form we will do this so we have a model so model is user okay and the fields are the fields are first name the same fields just we need we don't need the passwords okay because we don't need to password we will make another uh, link for changing the password okay so first name last name email and username user can change now it's time to go to the views.py file and we will what we will do i will what wrap this and we need to create the i will create the edit profile view and here i will create edit profile request and form is equal to we need to get the form from the forms.py file so this will be profile form okay and let's go to the profile form and here we will pass the instance okay so what is the instance equal to request dot user okay so this is the thing 
now what we will do we will pass this data we will pass this in edit profile so user and in the user we have edit profile in this we will pass this form we can also pass this message after saving that after saving this profile we will see the message okay now let's create the edit profile form so what i will do i will okay let's copy this add address and i will rename it i will say edit profile okay edit profile just just a second open edit profile here we have and this will be edit profile okay and we don't need this link we just need the form so here we have a form and now let's create the url for this so i will say edit profile here i will say edit profile and this will be edit profile and this will be also edit profile okay now we need uh, one thing more we need to do we need to put the link in the sidebar so i will go to the user and user sidebar and here we will create the profile and this will be edit profile okay and this will also a edit profile okay refresh the page so it is saying something that uh, we need to just restart the server so i have restarted the server I refresh the page go to the profile so now you can see here we have already uh, filled the data with username because we have provided just username and in the password field it is saying that raw password is not stored because when we uh, when we are uh, when we sign up then django not store the password as a raw password but it, it will uh, store the password as a hash so we will we will uh, we will work on this later we will create a video for the change password and uh, uh, not only for change password but uh, we will also include the forget password so we will see this later but for now we will focus the profile so i will here i will say albert i will say his i will say albert at the rate gmail.com and i i'll say okay we have we didn't have implemented the thing uh saving the password so what i will do i will copy this whole i'll copy this and i'll paste it here and in the form so the, uh, i need to pass this instance okay and here I, I also pass to the request post and uh, we don't need this user we don't need this uh, commit actually we just need to save the form so i'll remove this and just need to save the form and just we will uh, uh, save the uh, send the message to the edit profile okay so we are done uh, so let's refresh the page again and it will again say something that uh, we are showing something uh, it will instance will be go after the data so instance will go after the data so now it is reloading the server so reloaded refresh the page now let's fill albert his albert at the rate gmail.com and i'll say save okay so data has been saved and here you can see that we have pre-filled data okay so we have completed our edit profile step okay so now what we will do we need to add the mobile field in the address book so i will open the i will open the models.py file and i will go to the user address book and here i need to pass the i will pass one field i will create mobile okay and here i will create care field sorry care field and the maximum length is required so i will put 50 
okay and we also need to we also need to migrate this so and because we have already a data so what i will do i will but default null equal to true okay so that it can it will not generate error and it, uh, it will make other row as a mobile field zero or null you can see now py manage dot py make migrations okay so it will run so here is a migration and now we need to manage dot py migrate okay so migration has been done now we can start the server start the server and uh, i will go to the address book and i'll go to the add and i just need to put the in the form i just need to put mobile so after the address i'll put mobile so here we have a mobile okay so we have a mobile number okay so we have uh, now we will uh, whenever we like uh, we will put this mobile number 01234567189 and we will save this and now we will go to the address book and it will say the it will uh, we have uh, this data but we need to show the mobile number also so i will open the address book address book and after the address book i'll show the mobile number so in the card body let's say we have uh, another paragraph tag and in the paragraph tag i will say add dot mobile okay and this class will be text card text card text so it will grab the bootstrap styling okay so it has a mobile number it has nothing it has nothing we need also need to put some margin in the card so i will put margin margin bottom three so every card uh, relate to margin bottom three now here i want to do one thing more whenever we add the new data let's suppose we are adding the new data and status make true then what we, what will happen currently let's go to see this so now we have two address activated but we need only one address at a time activated so what i will do whenever we add the data and status is true then we need to dis deactivate all the other addresses okay so what i will do here i will go to the views.py file and uh, and save address where we are saving the address we will here if a uh, form is valid and everything is okay so before saving the form i will check if status in request dot post if status in request dot post then what i will do i will just update the status forms okay so let's see what it will do uh, form is valid uh, okay fine now i will check this and mobile number is something and check status save so now we'll go to the address book so here you can see that now only one address at a time is activated so we have completed the task uh, now we need to just uh, we have completed these tasks remove the fields from the sign up edit profile add mobile number in address book and we are also uh, add the logic to deactivate other uh, uh, address if we uh, activate the any of that or uh, any of the address now we need to edit the uh, existing address if we want to edit the existing address then what we will do so we will first of all we need to put the icon so in the address book i will i need to put the icon so i will put the icon here anchor and in the anchor i will add i class f a f a edit okay and i will make the class uh, float right okay so here we have a icon and i will make it in the activated also okay and when we click on this it will redirect to the it will redirect to the edit form so we need to create the edit form uh, view and uh, url so what i will do here 
uh, we need this uh, save address actually we need this save address and I will create this update address I will create this update address and here I will say update and here we will pass the ID okay and uh, we need to pass the instance also so after the request post we will pass the instance instance equal to we need to get the address so it will be user address book dot objects dot get pk equal to id and we will pass the instance address here uh, we also pass the instance uh, in the form here okay and uh, we are done now we need to just use the my address book add address and we will copy this and we will paste it here i will say update address and i will int id and i will copy this and i will copy here and here i will say update address okay uh, we have updated this address uh, we have now we need to update address form and we are done okay so what i will do i will open this add address copy this paste this and update address html and i'll open this update update address book okay and we are done uh, okay we need to uh, we also need to pass the link here so in the address book we need to pass the link so url uh, what we have uh, done in the update address okay so update address and here we will pass the id then close and the same will be go here refresh the page and it will say something what it is saying we are doing something wrong where here okay fine no issues now it's reloading thing reloading the things refresh the page click on this and we have we are now editing the address if you want to go to the address book here you can go to the address book and here we will let's say we are saving this and save and uh, address book so now it is activated okay so we have completed all the tasks if you have any query anything then please add in the comment section and please suggest me any suggestion uh, please add add your any suggestion for the improvement and uh, please add your thoughts for the next project because uh, uh, there are few videos for this uh, only uh, pending few videos for this project only so we have just uh, i think uh, i need to upload uh, we, you can say six to seven videos for this project uh, now and then we will start our next project in django so please add your thoughts about the next project okay uh, yeah we are fine now we have created the profile we have created the address book the next thing hopefully we will work on the we will work on the filters and uh, filter with the pagination so if we go to the all products so we will probably we will work on the filters and pagination okay so and one thing more i want to uh, say that in the dashboard we will show the bar chart uh, we will create that i will show you that what i want to say we will we will uh, see that what uh, what we will do in the dashboard user dashboard okay so thanks for watching this video thank you so much please like subscribe share this channel like this video comment your thoughts and thank you so much